I've been living in Australia for the last 16 years and fortunately I got Australian PR in 2009. But I hear this many times from many people that they want to get Australian PR. But some of them don't know exactly what are the benefits of becoming an Australian PR, which is Australian Permanent Resident. So in this video, I'll talk about top 9 benefits that you get as a permanent resident in Australia. So without wasting time, let's go to the topic. The first benefit is you can live indefinitely in the country. As a permanent resident, you can stay in Australia for as long as you want. Now there is a bit of a misconception that Australian PR is only valid for 5 years. That's only half of the truth because as long as you stay in Australia, you don't have to worry about getting that visa renewed. The reason for that is if you want to stay in Australia and you don't want to go outside the country, you do not need to renew this visa at all. But obviously if you want to go overseas, if you want to travel overseas, then you'll need to get this visa renewed which is usually for 5 years so that you can return back to Australia without worrying about it. But as I said earlier, if you don't want to go outside Australia, if you want to stay just in Australia, then it is perfectly okay to live on permanent resident for rest of your life. No issues. The benefit number 2, working rights. So as a permanent resident of Australia, you have unlimited working rights, which means you can work as many hours you want or for any employer you want as well. However, there's a little exception to this that some public services jobs and some defense jobs can only be applied by Australian citizens, not permanent residents. But apart from that, you are basically free to work for any sort of job and any amount of hours you would like to work in. As some of you are aware that in certain visas, there are some work restrictions. For example, in a student visa, you only have a 40 hours per fortnight work limit. However, there is no such restriction if you become a permanent resident. Cool. The benefit number three, healthcare entitlements. So as a permanent resident in Australia, you can access Australia's public healthcare system, also known as Medicare which gives you access to free public health care, especially in hospitals and via general practitioners. And there are subsidies for specialized medical services and some medications as well. And like COVID-19 vaccination, many other mandatory immunization is free in Australia as well. And if you're pregnant or if your partner is pregnant, the delivery of the babies is free in public hospitals as well. The next one is social security benefits. So social security in Australia is also known as Centrelink. These days this organization is known as Services Australia. But basically if you are unemployed, if you are a student or you have a disability or sickness then you are entitled to get social security benefits. And even if you have a young family then you are also entitled to get some benefits for your children as well. Now that's our next point, which is privileges for your children. So if you have kids who are born in Australia after you getting a permanent residency, well, they will become Australian citizens. You do not need to apply for their citizenship. They are born as an Australian citizen. And with your newborn kids, you get newborn payments, you get paid parental leave, and you also get some other family tax benefits as well. Now after your kids grow up a little bit, they go to the childcare, that's where you get childcare subsidy by the government. Up to 85% of the childcare fees is covered by the government, obviously depending upon your income. If you are in the higher income bracket, which means you earn a lot of money, then you may get less subsidy. But there is a subsidy available for childcare in Australia. And after finishing childcare, your kids go to school. That is also free until year 12 in public schools. And when they go to university, they can access the higher education loan program to study for the university courses as well. Now the next benefit of Australian PR is access to different types of loans. Once you get Australian permanent residency, your credit score gets a boost, which means it significantly increases. Your credit score or credit rating is based on a lot of factors. We can make a separate video on how the credit rating works if you would like. Let us know in the comment section below. But basically credit rating helps you to access different type of loans. The higher the credit rating, the better it is. And if you have a higher credit rating, you can access different types of loans like home loan, 
car loan, study loan or any other type of loan you would like to access. And if you're planning to buy a house, you can also access some government grants that helps people to buy their first home here in Australia. Next benefit is attending free English classes. So if your English level is very low or you have no understanding of English at all, then you can attend government subsidized English program, also known as AMEP, Adult Migrant English Program. This program is completely free of charge for Australian PR holders. So it's Australian government's initiative to get migrants to learn English so that they can integrate into Australian culture better. The next beauty of Australian PR is possibility of getting Australian citizenship. So Australian PR can become a pathway to get Australian citizenship. There are some conditions that you need to meet in order to become Australian citizen. For example, at the time of shooting this video, there are conditions like you must be living in Australia for at least four years and one of that year must be as a permanent resident in the country. And becoming a citizen give you access to some of those jobs like we mentioned earlier, like public services and defense jobs, gives you a right to vote in the country. And obviously you can leave and come to Australia for as many times as you like. There is no such five years visa that you need to apply if you get your Australian citizenship. And last but not the least, if you're not happy living in Australia after getting your permanent residency, which I wonder why, you can go visit, live and work in New Zealand as well. Australian PR holders can live in New Zealand indefinitely and they can study, they can work or they can travel around in New Zealand. There are no restrictions on Australian PR holders if they want to visit, live or work in New Zealand. So these are the top nine benefits of getting an Australian PR. Which one do you think is the most valuable for you if you become Australian PR? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. We would love to hear that. If I have to speak from my experience as a PR holder, unlimited work rights, healthcare benefits, and privileges for your children definitely stands out. But we would love to hear your thoughts as well in the comment section below. So please make sure to do so. And if you find any value in this video, please make sure to share it with other friends as well who get to know about Australian permanent residency's benefits. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel as we got plenty of content if you are planning to come to study in Australia or work in Australia or generally live in Australia as well. Check other videos on our channel or check our website for more details. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.